When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light we'll see No, I won't be afraid Oh, I won't be afraid Just as long as you stand Stand by me For me, the song was about I was newly married and I had this title in front of me that more or less said all I wanted to say. And it took me no time at all to write. No time at all. I, I, I mean, I, it just, it's, it seemed to go from line to line to line to line without any problem at all. And it basically was a love song from me to my wife and all at that time when I said newly married. So darling. I lived in Harlem. My dad brought me to New York when I was about eight years old. And Harlem during that time was, I guess, the best of the best music because you had the beginning of all, all of it, like uh, had Harlem, which is uh, the Apollo Theater there. There was like our Carnegie Hall. You know, so we had that to look at. And some of the best of the best entertainers came to that particular theater. In almost every block, or every, every like within the next two or three blocks away, there's always a group, you know, and we challenge each other, you know. We go for, for blocks and blocks away, and each one would be challenged by us. Sometimes we win, sometimes we won't. Then the more you lose, the better you become, because now you're making sure you don't lose anymore. You don't, you know, the battle, I should win these battles. We should rehearse more. We should dress better. We should smile more. We should fix our hair. <laughs> All the things that you think you would do to make you a winner. And that do prepare you in a way for, if you decide to pursue a professional career, you need all of that in this business that we're in now. Saturday night and the moon is, who cares what picture you see? When you're hooking with your baby, let's row in the balcony. I was in there about two and a half years, very short-lived. And then you went solo? Yeah, not by choice. We was on the road as the Drifters with a hit record, so we said we upset because one of the guys happened to see one of the contracts for that engagement for that night. So he comes to us, he said, do you know how much we're making? So we all got upset about it and we said, well, when we get back to New York, we're gonna set up a meeting and get this straight now, we deserve more money. And so they're looking at me saying, you talk. I said, okay, what do you want me to say? So they, they said, just tell them that we're not happy with the salary and whatever, whatever. So I did, so I stood up, made my little speech as best I could, and he looks at me, he says, well, you, you can't speak for the group, you speak for yourself. So I repeated everything over and over again. He said, well, if you're unhappy, you can leave. <laughs> so now, without turning around at the other guys, right, assuming they're gonna come with me, and someone told me not too long ago, you should never assume. <laughs> I saw we never got to go with They didn't. <laughs> I walked out of the door like an idiot. So I was really ready to give it up. Never, never thinking for a moment I'd be a lead singer. I know that you have been Ten down and fill a stand Oh, oh stand by. Stand by. Sam Cooke was with the Soulsters, a gospel group. And he had a song called, I think it was, Oh Lord, Stand By Me, or something like that. So I just took that section out and started writing my own words, you know. And newly married with a cheap guitar, I went at it. Wrote the song with only, only thing in mind, I'm gonna write another song for the Drifters. Cause they were still hot, you know what I mean? So I took this song down to the guys. We were still, we became friends again. We all met at Lover Patterson's house again. We all apologized, and I said, I got a good song for you. They, they did the song great, I think, yeah? So then the manager of the Drifters said, good song, we don't need it. So I took the song, walked out of the office. I won't cry, I won't cry, no, I won't shed a tear just as long as you stand, stand by me. 
And I read somewhere that you cried in the studio. Yeah, I was really sad when I did because, and to this day, it's never been done by a group that I, to my knowledge, that, that had did it like the Drifters when I first heard them do it, and that, that I had wrote it for, yeah. And I, I, I was sad because of that reason, and I know that um, I probably would never hear it done by the Drifters, but, I, 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 yeah, that's what I had in mind. And when I'm up there singing it by myself, yeah. Just you felt didn't. lonely. I felt lonely. It didn't gel the way I thought it would. You know, but. Stand by me, stand by me, whenever you 